What's good, God Omar channel? Davey and no more in the cut, man. God in the cut, man. Y'all know I'm back with another bang. Listen, nigga. So this comment caught my eye. I was sitting here scrolling on YouTube and shit. And I seen a little boxing event between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson about to take place. And this comment caught my eye. I'm going to pop it up on the screen for y'all. I'm about to read it on my phone, though. Okay. This is what this comment says. I'm tired of these money-grabbing events. Like nothing is real or authentic. No more. It's all scripted, made up, or some threat. What is it? That what's it called? Threat erotical event. Threat threat erotical. Rad, radical. Whatever, y'all. If I'm saying it right or wrong, it don't matter. Right? But I, I got the concept of what he was saying. So let me tell y'all something about this world, bro. This world grew out that age of doing this shit because you love it. You're doing it for a reason now. And I mean, like, not a reason. No, oh, I'm doing it because I love it. No. you doing this shit just to do it. And half of these niggas y'all look up to don't even, but they don't even earn what they don't even own the shit they doing. These niggas don't own their YouTube channels. These niggas don't own their Instagram pages. Like, all this shit is fake, bro. That's one thing about me, bro. I'm gonna be always independent. And I mean that shit because, like, I want y'all, I want to authentically connect with my fans on a personal level, bro. Like, eventually, I want to start doing meet and greets and personal stuff like that. But, like, why would I have somebody that's not me go on my page and put up things and like, different things and shit like that? If it's not for me, then it's not authentic. Like, oh, I'm pretty sure Mike Tyson and Jay Paul only doing this fight because they like, oh, we put a hundred million on the table. Just because it's Mike Tyson and Jake Paul is a household, he's a household name now. Like, none of this shit authentic, bro. And I seen, I heard, and I seen the podcast on Mike Tyson said, I do not want to fight this kid. I'll kill him. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know where, what is it, two, three years, four years later, Mike Tyson fighting this kid? Come on, bro. Y'all know this shit is some. Y'all know this shit's a setup, bro. Y'all know it's a setup, bro. And it's not about their situation. It's about everything in their entertainment. Look at the biggest names that there is on every platform. Twitch, YouTube. And look at their content, bro. It's so forced onto the kids, right? But when you go on YouTube and you actually watch YouTube for years, you notice all the authentic YouTubers that's not getting as much love now because they pushing the force shit on people, bro. They pushing that force shit on the people, bro. They're not pushing the authentic shit. They pushing, they pushing pussy, drugs, and money. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But that's what they pushing on these kids. What do Mr. Beast do? He gives out a lot of money, right? And that's giving kids these concepts that money comes easy. It don't, bro. You know, you know what niggas would do for money, bro? Look at Kai Sinat and all these other dudes I love, man. I love their content. I don't watch them personally. That's just because, man, I'm not, I'm too busy making my content. How can I sit here and watch somebody all day? You feel me? But look at Kai Sinat and, and guys in his category of streaming. What they promote all the time. Bitches. Pussy. All the time. Every time they have a big get-together, who's... What's, what's there? These bitches coming in the camera halfway naked and da -da -da -da, shaking ass, doing twerk contests, having fun, having a blast. And which that's that's what you supposed to do. It's your shit. You do what you want on your shit. But that y'all get the concept, right? Y'all get what I'm saying, right? I'm not dissing none of these niggas. I love these niggas' content, bro. But I know what it is, so I won't be heads over heels on they shit. Like, oh, I got to have the Riz. I got to have this. Oh, I got to be Mr. Beast. I got to give all money. Every time I get $100, I'm going to give it away. I'm not doing it. I'm not heads over heels on this shit, bro. Because I know what this shit is at the end of the day. All this shit is just entertainment, bro. And we come to it. We grew to an age that they just pushing the force shit on people, bro. Nothing authentic and nothing real. None of these niggas real. You'll see these niggas in these interviews. These niggas not keeping it a hundred. They not. It's because what, bro? These niggas don't own none of the shit they doing. They don't. They don't, bro. They just giving them the little cut, and then they just getting majority of the money, bro. That's all. That, that's all going on, bro. 
I'm telling you this to be real, bro. And I'm not saying this shit to be no be funny or trying to play sides. I don't play sides, bro. I just play only side I play is nothing, my nigga. I don't play nothing. I don't even play my own side because if I know I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Why would I consistently keep saying this and that? And I know I'm wrong about the situation. If I'm wrong, I'm like, oh, yeah, you right, bro. I fucked up. Now I'm wrong for that. I won't just continue with the, oh, no, I ain't do it. I ain't do it. You feel me now? But I'm just yapping now. But, yeah, man, I just wanted to, I just wanted to clear up that, bro. And the shit is real with that, bro, saying. Like, he probably, like, one out of a thousand people out of comments I've seen that actually understand what's going on. And he understands the concept. And he just peeps the shit. And that's what's been low-key making YouTube boring, bro. Because now everybody is going forced content. When they, like, oh, my, what's forced content? Forced content is you let somebody control your shit and you just doing all the trends just to keep your channel popping, bro. Just be yourself, bro. And the people that really watch you and really fuck with you for real, it's going to fuck with you. Because eventually you're going to have to go in the drought, bro. No matter if you Mr. Beast, Kais, and that, whoever, nigga. Eventually your channel and your page going to go through the drought. You know what's going to happen you go through the drought? Only the real going to stick with you through the thin, bro. If they really don't fuck with you, you going to know when the drop come, bro. And that's the real. <laughs> you feel me? All them hundreds of millions of views, 10 million views of video. Once that drought hit, you going to see who really fuck with you, bro. Like, this game is cold. And that's the real, bro. Because eventually, they got to have somebody to take Kais in that place. They're going to have somebody to take Beast, Mr. Beast pace, bro. They can't be on top literally forever because they got to keep it fresh. YouTube keeps it fresh. So what they're going to do, they're going to keep blowing up these, these new content creators. And they're going to get them in that trap, bro. That's all it is. Got them hard to come in. I love y'all niggas. Hey, I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. I'm going to get this out as soon as possible. I got y'all. Go. On. Oh.